Hey everyone, welcome to my channel techbeast.org. So today we are going to see something exciting. We are going to learn all about MQTT, setting up your own MQTT broker in AWS and we are going to play some hands-on with Raspberry Pi and a DHT11 or 22 temperature and humidity sensor. Okay, and we are going to build a simple web page to showcase the real time temperature and humidity data. Okay, so this concept you can apply for any kind of uh, uh, real-time applications okay so it can be any sensor you can make use of you can you can apply the same concept okay so then uh, overview of MQTT okay so before we get into hands-on let's uh, talk something about uh, the theory okay I have made a separate video about uh, the difference between HTTP WebSocket and MQTT and all these IOT protocols so the link is in the description so you can check out later so MQTT is an application layer protocol located in the layer 7 of the OSI model which works on publish subscribe concept in HTTP uh, we call it uh, request and response okay but in MQTT it's all about publish and subscribe the concept is same but the definition we, we use is something the term we use is a publish and subscribe here okay so it runs on top of TCP IP okay similar to HTTP and WebSocket then the messages are published and subscribed here via a mediator okay called broker so this broker can either be in local or it can be in internet so in today's uh, demo uh, what I'm going to show is we are going to set up our broker in internet so meaning uh, let's say your sensors can be anywhere remotely okay so it can um, publish the data to the broker and you are somewhere around the world okay so you want to see what's happening with that sensor what is the data okay coming from the sensor in real time so you can subscribe to it okay so that's the advantage of internet of things right so that's the reason we are going to set up a public mqtt broker in internet so in mqtt this broker is basically the server okay so your sensor and your um, dashboard we can call it clients okay so then uh, this MQTT uh, provide three level of cures so this quality of service is one of the feature offered by this MQTT okay so it it comes with the cures 0 cures 1 and cures 2 so this uh, you can you can choose a, any any of the cures according to your application needs okay so cures 0 means the publisher just uh, send the data to the broker and the client uh, will receive it and the subscriber just receive it okay just fire and forget there won't be any acknowledgements but in QoS one so there will be an acknowledgement okay at least once uh, the broker ensure that the data is delivered to the subscriber then QoS two is like exactly once okay the publisher publish the data to the broker and the broker ensures that the subscriber subscribe the data at least once and the data is properly delivered okay so these are the three quality of service okay uh, offered by MQTT so then okay so this is our setup today so what we are going to do so we are going to create an EC2 instance in AWS so so this, this session is not not about cloud or how to set up uh, EC2 or AWS basically I will show you how to set up a simple EC2 instance and we are going to set up a, a mosquito broker so the mosquito broker is an open source broker developed by uh, eclipse foundation we are going to install it on uh, aws so basically it's going to be an ubuntu machine okay i'm going to choose ubuntu machine in aws we are just going to install this mosquito broker there and we are going to enable uh, tcp ip uh, you mean http and also the uh, web socket okay the, bro the broker is going to support both tcp and uh, web socket okay then uh, okay we are going to connect uh, raspberry pi we are going to connect a dht uh, sensor to the raspberry pi and we are going to publish the data to the broker on the topic mqtt slash dht okay so then actually the topic can be anything as you wish so for this project i have chosen this then we are going to write a simple html web page in order to subscribe to the data and showcase it okay so that's so simple right so that's that's the fun of internet of things okay when we do a hands-on it will be more fun okay so then the communication between the broker in the cloud and your browser okay so meaning your client is, is going to be WebSocket because uh, your browser directly does not support MQTT protocol okay so we need to uh, run MQTT over WebSocket in order to uh, have a real-time uh, sync between your sensor and your browser okay 
So then what are the prerequisites? So what we are going to do basically. So okay, we are going to set up an Ubuntu EC2 instance in AWS Cloud. Then we are going to install uh, Mosquito MQTT broker and configure the security group. So meaning you need to allow, right? So so in EC2, it's, these are all the um, security features available. So if you want to allow a specific port uh, uh, in order to access over internet, we need to explicitly allow it. So we need to allow uh, 1983, okay, for the MQTT uh, or TCP, uh, or TCP and 9001 for WebSocket. Then we are going to start the Mosquito broker service in EC2 and we are going to uh, set up the Raspberry Pi. We are going to connect all these DHT sensors and it's going to be a simple Node.js application which will publish the sensor data to the broker. Okay, so the modules we are going to use um, in this project are MQTT and Node uh, DHT sensor module. Okay, so then uh, okay, so basically this is a code structure. I have developed a simple uh, code for your for this uh, demo, so you can just down clone it and you can make use of it if you want. You can edit it and you can do whatever you wish. Okay, so basically this is the project structure. Okay, the index.js file contains all the module information and that's the main source file. Okay, which is going to uh, publish the data every five seconds. I'm just running a simple uh, timer which every five seconds which publish the data to the broker and this index.html is uh, a client. Okay, so it just subscribe to the broker using a WebSocket and this sensor data and this browser will be uh, in a sync always in real time. Okay, so via broker. So then as images or just supplements, I added some DHT PNG, which basically the connectivity diagram is inside. Okay, so now let's um, get into uh, the topic and we are going to set up a EC2 instance in AWS and we are going to connect it. We are going to install the Mosquito broker, everything inside the EC2. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so now I have logged into my AWS account. So what you need to do is you need to click services and you need to click EC2. So EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Compute where you can do all your um, cloud-based, uh, you can get an instance in cloud, so it, like your laptop or any machine in cloud and you can do whatever you want. So so in our case, we are going to run and install our broker as I said. So so currently what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a EC2 instance. Okay, so I'm going to choose uh, Ubuntu uh, 18.04. So basically it's a, a free tire eligible instance. Okay, T2, T2 Micro is free tire eligible. So I'm just going to uh, leave everything as it is okay i'm not going to add any storage so i'm not going to add any tags as of now it's just simple okay so here so this is what i said uh, we need to explicitly allow port 1883 and 9001 okay so i'm going to add uh, port 1883 here so the source can be anywhere okay from the internet so our instance the port tcp port 1883 should be accessible so then uh, port 9001 so this is for websocket so similarly i'm going to allow it from anywhere so uh, the security group name is uh, it can be anything as you uh, wish so i just go to uh, i'm just going to leave it as default so now uh, let's just review it uh, okay everything is uh, this 22 is mainly for ssh into my um, ec2 instance okay i'm just going to launch it so uh, so before launching this is for security so you need to create a uh, so you need to create a new uh, key pair okay so i'm just going to create a key pair under name tech beast okay so so what you need to do is you can download and keep the key pair later so just uh, let's just launch the instance okay okay so now uh, my instance is running so let me go to the ec2 and let me check whether okay so so just open it so it's launching so okay so it will uh, take few seconds okay so now you can see the instance is running from uh, pending to running okay so by default um, amazon uh, easy to you will get a public ip address for your instance which you can use uh, in order to access it from anywhere okay so in the world so now uh, for our mqtt broker we are going to use this public ip address so just take note uh, we need to use it later okay so now let's connect into the ec2 instance so just right click click connect and copy this code in order to log into your ec2 instance okay so i'm just going to use my console okay so just uh, paste it and the moment you click enter you will be logged into your ec2 instance okay so okay so here uh, we are i'm into my ec2 instance so the best practice is always um, update your ec2 instance okay so this will update the instance with all the recent packages in ubuntu okay so it's always the best practice to update it 
okay okay so now it's done so what we need to do is uh, we are going to install mqtt broker as i said so sudo app dash uh, get install mosquito mosquito dash clients okay so this will uh, take a while so this will install uh, mqtt in your mqtt broker in your ec2 instance okay so now what we need to do is uh, so just to change directory to the folder etc uh, and uh, go to mosquito and just list down okay so you will see the conf.d file okay what we need to do is uh, basically uh, you need to create a default configuration where you need to specify uh, the port numbers okay which uh, we have opened so let's just to create a sudo nano default dot conf okay so this will create an empty folder so here you can specify the okay so here the listener is 1883 so this is listening in port 1883 and we are going to add uh, port 9001 for websocket and we need to define okay so what protocol you are using so protocol is websockets okay so now uh, the best practice is always uh, secure your broker with some kind of uh, uh, username password okay so we need to uh, set up a username password also so so you just uh, uh, know Anonymous okay to false so just uh, set all anonymous false and you need to specify the password file okay so the path for the password file is uh, slash etc uh, mosquito slash sorry okay mosquito slash password okay so okay so this is going to be your default configuration file so let's just save it and close okay so now we need to generate the password for your mosquito or broker right so in order to generate password just to type uh, uh, mosquito underscore password okay so create password under folder etc slash mosquito slash password so uh, this is going to be a password so the moment you type uh, sorry so we need to specify a username so in my case I'm going to specify tech piece as username so so password you can give anything as you wish okay so now I have created a secured MQTT broker in cloud okay that's all so now in order to uh, make it uh, take effect okay so you just need to restart your uh, broker so sudo system uh, seat control so restart um, mosquito okay mosquito dot service okay fine so this will restart your MQTT broker okay so that's it so this is the setup you need to do in AWS so now we have finished setting up your uh, AWS MQTT broker so let's clone the repository and send the sensor data and see it in dashboard okay so before log into your Raspberry Pi so this is a DHT11 sensor um, I have just connected it on uh, port 4 here as you see so, so just the wiring connection you just do before uh, log into your Raspberry Pi, okay? So, okay, so now let's log into the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to SSH into it. So SSH Pi at IP address of your Pi. So mine is 198.168.1.89. So you can log into the Raspberry Pi. So key in the password of your Raspberry Pi and you're in okay so now uh, what we need to do is uh, I'm going to clone the repository here okay so the uh, repository as I said it's in the description you can just uh, take out so github.com slash techpiece.org AWS MQTT DHT okay so just uh, um, copy and clone this git repository inside the folder sorry so sudo uh, git clone okay so this will clone the repository into your Raspberry Pi so then what you need to do is you just need to uh, change the uh, IP address inside okay so let me just uh, list down the file okay so you can change it to the folder okay so, so now what we need to do is we need to configure the broker details inside the index.js so let me take a look at the JS index.js file first so as you see here so we have declared um, declared the node DHT sensor module here we have uh, declared the MQTT module here so here you need to change the EC2 IP address so what you need to do is you need to copy the uh, public IP address of your EC2 instance and you need to replace it so then you need to uh, replace the username and password which we um, created during your uh, AWS broker setup okay uh, then so as you see here so this is the code uh, which is going to fetch the temperature and humidity data from the sensor okay so then uh, 
uh, what we are going to do is we are just going to run a simple timer so every five seconds so this is going to publish the mqtt data okay so this is the topic mqtt slash dht on the topic so we are going to uh, send this uh, uh, stringify json okay the temperature and the humidity value okay so now uh, let me okay before that why we need to install all the modules inside the folder so it's always uh, uh, good to install as a root okay sudo so so sudo npm uh, install okay so this will install the mqtt and node uh, dht sensor module inside the package.json file okay so uh, uh, let's just wait for a while okay so now we have installed the modules okay all the necessary packages needed for this project okay so it's time to execute the code and before that let me uh, show you the index.html file okay so how it looks like and what you need to configure so this index.html file basically have all these uh, uh, the simple web page okay which is a uh, uh, so you need to import this uh, mqtt.js uh, javascript so this is one of the uh, main file for this html and we are going to display the sensor value here okay so a simple uh, script you i have just uh, written here so what you need to do is uh, what you did for the uh, client we just need to uh, change the ip address here also okay so it's similar to the uh, code in this uh, for the for the sensor data so you need to change uh, the uh, ip address and the username and password here for your uh, html file also okay so okay so now it's time to execute the code so let me just execute it by node index.js okay so the moment you execute you will see the sensor data starting uh, publishing to your broker okay so all your uh, device data will be published to your broker okay so you can see topic published to the broker okay let me um, open the web page for you so i have already opened it here so let me just refresh it so every five seconds we are just publishing the data here you can see the temperature and humidity value coming here so now uh, just right click and click inspect element you can go to the network and so just refresh it you can see uh, okay it's a WebSocket connection okay so successfully uh, we are sending the data uh, over MQ mqtt over WebSocket uh, protocol so that's how uh, simple it is to set up your uh, iot uh, mqtt based iot applications you can use this uh, for any kind of real-time applications you can uh, use it to send any kind of sensor data okay so it's going to be a fun totally so thanks for watching guys if you like my videos please subscribe to it and show your support so uh, start building internet of things application and keep learning okay so we are going to talk a lot about uh, uh, cloud and iot and more free open source softwares okay so stay safe guys thank you very much